doing the Mini Cooper clutch tonight. Got it all tore apart. I want to show you guys this. Whenever you go to change your bearing, your throttle bearing, you know, it sits up in here like this. Put it back in here real quick. Okay. It sits up in there. You can see that. Get some light in here. It sits in there like that. Now, there's a hole right here that this little clip, you can see this, sits in. And it sticks out behind there through the hole. Push that clip through there, and that allows you to pop it loose from there, and then you just walk it forward a little bit, and it'll come right out. Now your throttle bearing is just pushed through. Pops in with them little clips right there. Just pop that through. Put your um, clip back on your arm. Let me do this real quick. Set it back in here like this. Okay. Now you get that little clip going up over the top there. And it should come down. You can see it through the hole there. Now you want to push that back on the ball behind it. And then the fun part is getting that clip through. And then the clip's through. And it's back on. That's all there is to doing it. But I figured you guys might want to see that because I didn't see any videos showing if you stop, pop that little clip out right there that it releases it from the uh, ball, the pivot ball. And when you guys put this on, make sure you put a little dab of grease on the back side there so it's lubricated its, its uh, pivot point. It keeps it from wearing that out faster. But I just want to show you. I've got it all tore apart. Got the new clutch in. All lined up, ready to go. Oh, subframes over there. On that subframe, it's got power steering that is electronic, which kind of makes it nice. I didn't have to unplug this one. I did, but I, to get to that plug. But uh, you just unplug it here, undo your bolt there, and then the rest of your subframe, everything, all the subframe bolts, bolts come out. And uh, what I'm surprised about is I was expecting transmission to be a little heavier than it was, and uh, it's pretty light, so... It didn't kill me doing it this this time. Christina had to work. I told her I was going to wait until she came out to help me do it. And then I got antsy tonight and said, you know what, screw it. I'm not doing anything else. So go ahead and knock it out real quick. The old clutch is here. And it was down to the rivets. And as you can see, all the hot spots. All the hot spots in the, uh, there it goes pressure plate it was toast like I said we took it out and took it for a test drive and the pedal was almost at the top and every time you hit the throttle real hard it would slip so resurfaced the flywheel uh, clutches on and maybe tonight I'll put the transmission in I don't know it just depends on how I feel I figured I'd give you guys an update let you know what was going on I didn't see any videos on how to change the throttle bearing on a 2010 mini so I figured I'd do a real quick video show you how to do the throttle bearing. Super simple. Here's the old one. She was dried up. Well, hope you guys enjoy my channel. Please like and subscribe, and have a good evening. Thank you.